Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about five steps that you can take to become a better wife. And if you apply one or two of these steps in your relationship, your husband will absolutely notice the difference. So if you are looking for ways to improve your marriage then definitely stay tuned. Are you new to marriage and trying to take the right steps for your future? Or have you been married for some time but are trying to be a better wife? Being a good wife is not easy. Even if you have a near-perfect husband, to be a good wife, you have to be able to understand your role in the relationship. In a new marriage, you are often trying to adjust to sharing your life with your husband. As a wife, you might be puzzled about things a wife should do for her husband, and other people might offer you confusing advice. There is a lot of new information about what a woman needs to do to be a better wife. However, this new advice is not practical because it is responsible for the high divorce rate. But the traits required to be a good wife to your husband are the same as they were many years ago. When the divorce rate was not on steroids, you should try to be warm, understanding, and empathetic. Marriage is a relationship of servitude to one another. You taking care of your husband and your husband taking care of you. As a couple you share goals and visions as one. As a good wife you should support your husband's plans and interests. If you want to know how to be a better wife, just follow these five steps. 1. Be more understanding. Be more understanding when you discuss an issue with your husband. Don't let anger take over, because it may cause you to say things that are not edifying. Even when you don't agree with your husband, you need to respect his opinion and his viewpoint. To be a good wife, you need to understand that you may not agree on some issues. No couple has an identical mindset, especially if you are newly married, which means that both of you will need to learn to cope with occasions where you just can't resolve your opinions. But as a woman you have to keep one thing in mind. Your husband is the head of your household, so he should have the last word. It's easy to pass judgment or get frustrated with your husband because of what he did or didn't do. But if you are able to have more understanding, it will change the type of wife you are. At the end of the day, we all make mistakes. And when we do, what we need most is the person we love taking a moment to walk in our shoes. By doing that you step away from a space of judgment and step to a place of understanding. It doesn't excuse whatever wrongdoing you feel your husband engaged in. But it does allow you to see things from a perspective other than your own. And that makes you a better wife. 2. Think before you speak. Talk to your husband at the right time. Don't just spring your problems on him whenever. Avoid bringing up problems in front of the children, or while he is paying bills or when he is immersed in a stressful situation, or fixing a problem around the house. And don't expect your husband to read your mind, because he never will. Not ever. Your husband is not a mind reader. As his wife, your job is to speak to him clearly and respectfully. Your husband needs to know where you stand, how you feel, and what you need. If you can't openly share those details, don't get mad at him for not understanding. He can't understand you if you can't bring yourself to speak your truth and pick your battles. Some issues are not worth arguing about, and some are. If you spend all of your time nitpicking your husband about minor problems that don't really matter, then he is not going to listen to you when major issues come up. Criticism can destroy a relationship. For instance, don't nag your husband. Let him do things his own way. Don't sweat the small stuff. Avoid criticizing your husband without doing it constructively. Remember to try to be calm and rational, as strong emotions can easily turn a discussion into an argument. If you criticize every little thing he does, then he will quickly tune you out. And you should praise your husband for the things that he does right much more than you fuss with him about things that he does wrong. This will make him much more likely to listen to you and much happier to be around you. 3. Learn to forgive. We all make mistakes. No marriage can thrive without forgiveness. You must learn to forgive your husband. You have to realize that even if someone loves you to the ends of the earth, human beings will mess up from time to time. You will make a mistake from time to time and you will want your husband to forgive you. Talk to your husband, not about them. Never talk to your friends or your family and say negative things about your husband. If you're not communicating with him first, Talking about your husband behind his back is disloyal. When you get married, your first loyalty is to your husband, he is your head, not to your birth family, your family from the creator or your social groups. Complaining about your husband to your friends and family will not only not solve any of your problems, but it will also make them view your relationship in a more negative light. Your friends and family may think they know what's best for you, but they don't know your relationship as well as you do, 
and may unintentionally give you bad advice. 4. Be a good helper. The best thing I have ever done for my marriage is ask my husband what more I can do to help him. Sure, it would be nice if I always knew when he needed my help. But I don't. Sometimes, I have no idea. I have to open my mouth and just ask. Is there anything I can do for you, honey? When you let your husband know that you are there to make his life easier, your relationship will begin to improve and you become a better wife. And roll with the changes. You will experience crises together. From the loss of a job to the death of a parent, you may suffer financial hardship or you may find yourselves unexpectedly wealthy and unsure of what to do. Your marriage will survive the changes because you are trying and you also should be willing to keep communicating and being flexible. Keep in mind that you too must learn to accept change together as one. Remember that whatever changes happen, you and your husband are dealing with them as one, not as people on the opposite sides of a war. Dealing with the changes together makes them much more manageable. Roll with the changes together. Though you and your husband may still be passionately in love, don't get disappointed if he doesn't want to kiss and cuddle with you all the time like he did when you were newlyweds. You can still keep your love strong without wanting it to be exactly the same as it was when you first got married. And accept the changes with your bodies, though you may work hard to stay fit and eat healthy. You have to accept that your 60-year-old selves probably aren't as agile as your 20-year-old selves. And that's okay. 5. Be realistic. Have realistic expectations. Neither of you are perfect. Unmet expectations tend to frustrate everyone. If your expectations are truly too high or unrealistic, then you need to set standards that are obtainable. Have realistic financial expectations. Maybe you and your husband aren't as far along financially as you hoped you'd be five or ten years down the line. That's okay. Work on appreciating what you do have instead of expecting more. Remember that no relationship is perfect. If you expect to get along with your husband 24-7 and be happy 100% of the time, you are sadly mistaken. Marriage doesn't work that way. I have been married to my husband for 32 years and I can tell you that we both had our ups and downs. Your husband will not meet all of your needs, but you should be trying to meet all of his. Invest time and energy into meeting your husband's needs. Once you do that, your husband will be far more satisfied with you, and your husband will feel obligated to fulfill more of your needs as a husband. So I hope you found this video helpful, if you did leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.